Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com and this is part of the How to Make a World War II Diorama Tutorial <clears throat> and in this part of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to make barbed wire and you can see here I get some nice barbed wire in the it's kind of concertino wire style curved like that and you can mount it on the ground or you can mount it on top of a fence in your diorama and things like that. I also have a barbed wire that comes in various configurations you can also do something like this See it, or you mount it on those X type fence, or you can even mount it on a fence like this, that's sort of like a cattle fence, and you can put one string or two strings. So, there's a lot of different ways you can go about the barbed wire, and those are some of them. And you can be creative about it. And all I did was to do these fences, these various fences, all those are colored toothpicks. So, depending on the scale you're using, you know, use um, toothpicks or barbecue skewers or anything like that, even chopsticks or whatever, whatever the scale is right for you. So, and I've glued the, I glued the barbed wire to it. So let me show you how now how, to, how I do this. I use, um, for this scale, I use 24 gauge wire and I've actually just stripped out um, house wire. This is telephone wire for a home. So what I did is I stripped out the insulators and to make the, um, the straight style barbed wire, I actually wrap two pieces together. So I will take uh, two pieces of, of wire, if you can see these, and then I will unevenly wrap them together. Don't wrap them even. You don't want that twist to be very even. You want it to be a little bit rough because that's the way barbed wire looks. So just wrap them together like that and then you want to install the little hooks on it at intervals. So every half inch or so and vary it up a little bit. And uh, let me show you how I do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a, a pipe cleaner here so you can get a good look at it. Here's my straight, this is considered this my two pieces that are wrapped together. And then I take a smaller piece of uh, wire and then just do a single wrap right around it like this. And that's it. And then, and then I trim it down. So it just has the little spikes. And then I continue to do that. Do it at intervals. Just one single wrap and trim it. So it takes a little bit of work and it's some detail work and but you can once you get good at it you can actually do quite a bit of hard wire in no time at all. So when I do the concertina style wire in the loops like this I don't wrap two pieces of copper wire to make the length. I just use a single piece it looks better. So and then once I've got I've got this all I've made then I'll wrap it around uh, some kind of a cylindrical object like a pencil. So then I wrap it around a pencil, paint it and it's good to go. And now it's ready to mount onto your diorama. And for this type I use, um, I keep a little excess on the ends of it and I can stick those and glue those down right into the diorama. So I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you some more and I'll show you this in a diorama. Okay, you can see I've installed the barbed wire in this diorama, and this diorama isn't done yet. I have a lot more work to do on it, but I just wanted to show you this stage of it. So I put the concertina style here, and then I mount it. I, I poked little holes using an awl here, some kind of a punch. Poke little holes, put the posts in, install the barbed wire, and it looks pretty good. So that's what you do. Use toothpicks, anything at all, and uh, use some wire and make up your uh, barbed wire. Uh, thanks for watching. Lots more stuff on my website, www.stormthecastle.com. And I'll be, and I have more of this uh, World War II diorama tutorial coming. Thanks.